Hey and welcome back. In this video I gonna say a few words about application quit. If you go to the Unity you can find application quit and there is uh, some code. If you wanna click quit the application and press the button in this case is escape application will quit. But this will be working with the keyboard but if you would like to do the application quit with the buttons in the game. Let's jump to Unity and make some buttons and I will show you how. So first I will need the UI button. And let's make as well the code. Let's call it exit game. And I need some object to hold the script. So I create the empty object and add the script it. What is it here? And let's open. And you don't need anything of that because we're gonna use the button. So we won't call that on the update or on the start. And we need to make some method and it must be public. So you can have the access from the button. And let's call it just quit the game maybe. I wanted to make the exit the game but you can't have the same name of the script and the methods. And now you simply write application Quit and this will quit the game whenever you have the standalone version or boot application for the phone. And it won't work on the unit itself because if it this, this will be working, then it will close your project and not save whatever it was done inside. So for that, you need to write the book log. And here you want some information whenever you press the button that it's really working. I'll just simply write button working, game excited. And now we need to close. And we have attached the script to the our object. And now we need to go to the button. Oh, let's maybe move to the UI. And a few words about the buttons on the top corner here. You can set up whenever the button should be on the center corner. Of course, you can move it manually if you want or set up its position with the XY here on the top. Uh, you can change the sprite UI. So if you have something prepared, you can just simply select it and set. And if you have proper Dimension of it, you can press the set native. This one is of course not the proper one. It's too big, but you can as well change the white and height on the top. So let's say 200 to 100. Of course, you can change as well the color if you want different color. And if you use the arrow on the left, have the text and you can play here some I know, I just exit game, I will write. So I can write whatever you want, or maybe you will have the prepared the button with already text, so you don't need to have this. And let's change the phone. And now when you scroll down to the button, you have something like on click. You need to use that plus button to add to the list. And now we need to move the object with our script inside and now we have some function and you go to the script our script is exit the game and we need to find the method in this case it's quit the game because you will always have the name he was making inside so because i make it quit the game so this is what i see here and now maybe let's move it to the corner okay and let's play And if you go to the console, whenever I press the button, I should have the information that button is working. And like you can see here, 
everything working and the game excite. But just to remember, it not work inside the Unity because it will be close wall program you use. It's gonna work on the standalone version or on a game application you're gonna make with the mobile at the server. So in here, if you wanna check if it's working, you need to write the block. So that's gonna show you information in the console that it's clicked and it's really working. So that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. If you're interested, check others videos from my channel. See you next time. Cheers.